Hi, Denise Naylor here. In this video, I want to give you some tips for success on the day of your test. Many students spend hours studying, revising and preparing for a test, yet on the day they do not do themselves justice. Perhaps you've heard someone coming out of a test saying, I should have done better. Maybe you know someone who did not turn up on time and so lost valuable opportunity to improve their grade. In my experience, many people do the necessary work but achieve a worse exam result than they could. On test day, you're required to concentrate and use your memory skills. Test day is your deadline. Your test day results will be public, at least to your family and friends, so no pressure then. <laughs> and yet, when you know how to focus, the extra stress simply won't bother you. You'll know what to do to perform better. You see, you do have a choice. You can choose how you respond. You can allow pressure and stress to bring you down. You can make an excuse. Oh, it wasn't my fault. The train was late and I came late. So of course I couldn't get top marks. Or you can decide to tell yourself, I've done my best. It's just one step on my journey. I've passed many other hurdles to get this far. And this test is just the next step. There'll be other opportunities if I don't pass this time. You cannot change the test, but you can change your response to the test. So check your response. Get your mind set for success on the day. Don't make excuses, blame or complain. Your test day will come round again. A pass will bring success and happiness. So now prepare and do your best. In the week coming up to the test, you need to rehearse for the day. How? Firstly, go to the venue where the test is going to take place. Always go on the same day of the week, at the same time, using the mode of transport that you're going to do on the real day. Walk around the building, find out where you can get a drink. Time your walk from the bus stop, the railway station or the car park. Is there somewhere you can shelter if it's raining? Nothing worse than wet feet in the examination. All of this is preparing your mind so that on the day you don't have to worry about where the test is taking place and how you're going to get there. Secondly, panic early, panic often. Allow yourself small panics on a regular basis. Remember, your response is your choice. Go outdoors and sit in a garden or park and breathe deeply. Just say to yourself, the test is only a test. It's not a tiger coming to eat me. Do you remember this from my video, Three Steps to Pass? And now decide what you will wear and what you'll take with you on the day. Get your clothes cleaned and your bag packed. You need your travel card, some cash for a drink, pens, calculators, spare batteries, a ruler, and your personal ID to get into the room. Know where to go and what to bring. Rehearse the day. You are succeeding. Now on test day itself, radiate confidence and calm. How? No bad news, no breakfast TV, no radio, no newspapers, no difficult or upsetting conversations. Keep away from negative people. If you live in a situation that may bring your mood down, consider staying at a friend's house. Enjoy a full breakfast. Your brain needs food. Dieting and exam day do not mix. Take your now familiar journey to the venue. Keep your front brain as clear as possible. Trust that you have everything you need in your back brain. Don't chat to your friends who are waiting outside. Oh, hello. Can you remember the method for question two? <gasps> My brain's a muddle. I've completely forgotten it. If you answer their question, your brain will switch to front brain mode and you'll be the one in a muddle. The time to discuss the test is when it is finished, over and done. In the exam room, take your seat and sit quietly. Don't connect with anyone else. Allow your mind to rest completely. Ignore distractions in the room. Trust your back brain. If panic rises, recognise it and remind yourself. 
There's no need to panic. I've already done that. Now everyone is settled and you're given permission to start. It's your time to succeed. Breathe in and commence. Keep the negatives at bay. Focus brings you success today. You're in the room, you're alert and you're ready to focus. Now there'll usually be many people in the exam room so you're not at home in your comfortable quiet room with your choice of music playing and a drink to hand. There are likely to be disturbances and distractions. There'll be noise and movement, people calling for help, people walking around and generally being annoying. Earplugs help. And if a distraction occurs, choose your response. Decide to block it out from your concentration. So to achieve success on your test day, whatever the situation, remember you can choose your response. Rehearse for the day, radiate calm and confidence and ready yourself to focus. I wish you great success in all your tests and do join me again